Welcome back to Tons of Gas YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reviewing why I built this garage, some of the specs, a lot of stuff on the inside, and I want to go into some of the details of what I have inside the garage. So 2,500 square feet roughly. When I built this, this wall came all the way down here and we ended up having to take out about, I think it was 55 or 60 dump truck loads out of it. It looked very, very big when they actually took the dirt out. So once they started framing, we got to the end of the framing. I ended up calling my builder and the, the architect and I was freaking out because it looked so big. Things look a lot bigger when they're framed like that. But um, I was able to actually get on the excavator and use it for a little bit, which was pretty cool. Um, it was designed by me and Greg Perry, built by Ted Thompson in Charlotte, North Carolina here. So come on in and I'll show you. Okay, folks, so we are inside here. It is about 30 degrees outside. I've got two two-ton split systems here for to keep it cooled in the summer and warm in the winter. The ceiling has roughly an R45, R value of spray foam up there. I put 10 inch brick walls all the way around this. I'm in the garage door business, so I'll show you the, the insulated garage doors here in a minute. We have one inch uh, insulated glass on all of these uh, on the outside, which is 16 by eight feet tall. It will house about 28 cars. I have a lot of motorcycles in here right now, which some of you have not seen, and I've probably got another six or seven that aren't here. I have double lift Ben pack. Lifts, I have five of them in here, which allow to house more cars. The ceiling height, the ceiling height is 14 feet. Some of the motorcycles I have in here, I've always been a collector of small items. I like the Mini Coopers, the Renaults, uh, stuff like that. Anything small, displacement or odd. So here's a Honda ZB50. It's got an 80cc kit on it. I've always loved these YSRs because when I was going to the pool in our neighborhood, some of the kids had them. I always had the Honda Spree scooters, but nevertheless, that's a 50. Um, the Honda NSR 80, which is extremely rare, a YSR 80. I do have a GSXR 50 and another YSR 80. Here is a Derby 50, which is pretty rare, but even more rare than that is an Aprilia. It's called the AF150cc. Single-sided swing arm, pretty cool. And I'm not gonna get into big details because we're gonna do another one on this, but Honda CT90. This is a Benelli 125 two-stroke. That is literally a death, death trap. It's a cafe racer. Moving on, I always collected Pepsi. My brother used to work for Pepsi. Unlike Naturally, unlike everyone else, they collect Coke. I collect Pepsi. Here's some old Crystal Pepsi. I actually have on that side over there a original Crystal Pepsi from 1986 with the receipt. It's a little bit yellow and brown. Uh, something that I think is pretty cool. I ran the Red Bull Rally Cross in Seattle and Las Vegas or Seattle and Los Angeles. My best friend made this for me. I love In and Out Burgers. This is when we were racing. It's a pretty cool time. I really, really enjoyed that. Unfortunately, that series went away. This is one of the first, or it is the first race that I was on podium in um, SVRA in my 1986 Alfa Romeo GTB6. That's pretty cool. So Pepsi cooler functioning. One thing I also like is bazooka gum. So I collect some of that. Here's actually some bazooka pillows and they, believe it or not, they actually smell like bazooka gum. So pretty cool. One of my favorite things that I have here is this voting booth from Florida to Palm Beach County. If anyone remembers the election between Al Gore and George Bush was decided in less than 500 votes in the entire country. Oddly enough, George Bush, his brother Jeb Bush was the governor in Florida that year, but I still have some of the tablets and the hanging chads and the dimple chads over here. 
I raced this bike back in the early 80s. It's a Diamondback Super Viper. Uh, that was pretty cool. I raced that when I lived in Seattle. Picture of my Alfa Romeo GTV6 race car at Road Atlanta. And probably the most dangerous thing in the garage is this. It's a Bellata with a Polini engine. It'll do about 60 miles an hour. And that thing is pretty, pretty cool. I do, we used to actually come out here and watch TV on this. So I've got a screen that comes down. We would sit here and watch football and racing and stuff like that, so. I actually installed 72 outlets in this garage. One for all of my signs up top on one light switch. The, I also put a 50 amp breaker on the outside or a 50 amp outlet on the outside because I park my RV on the outside sometimes too. So I'll show you some other stuff. This is a uh, RC390, brand new, zero miles. This is what we used to ride to the pool back in the day. It's a gyro. It's pretty cool. It <laughs> leans both ways. That's a neat one. Um, let's see. I bought this bike off eBay. It's kind of like a um, evil Knievel bike. But the special thing was they, they left their shorts in the bag and some cool glasses. So these are definitely straight from the 80s. Not sure I want to be touching those shorts much longer. Okay. Moving through here, we have the AC Schnitzer, the Scirocco. You guys have seen some of these cars in our first video. We'll be doing more on them as well. The Jetta, the M5, the Testarossa, the Audi. You have not seen this. This was not here last time. It's a 1969 Subaru 360. It's a two stroke though, which is really, really cool. The Scirocco M3 up top, the 320IS Callaway. That is a GTV6 Maritona, Scirocco Callaway. Uh, obviously the 190 16 valve, the Porsche DP. We have the Milano up here, the Lancia over here, Lamborghini Hoppa. I like this one. And here is the Lotus, the Spree Turbo. We got our twin Callaway sitting over here. So, so I have an H1. You probably saw it in my first video, but I ended up buying an old dealer sign from California and I had that shipped out here. So that's pretty cool. A lot of stuff just on the, on the uh, sidewalls here that I've collected throughout the years a lot through auctions and some Barrett Jackson stuff. eBay is a big one for me. Uh, let's see what else we have. A lot more Pepsi stuff over here. Some old coolers, some, there is the Crystal Pepsi from 1986, pretty cool. Obviously my Alfa Romeo signs, the service and repair parts. We have Mike Skeen in the corner here. It's hard to hide. I'm trying to stay warm. He's trying to <laughs> I do have some Honda Z50s. One of the cool ones is this. One in the back, it's a Chrome 1986. It's a Chrome Christmas special. We'll do some, some more in depth on it, but Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman ran that at a uh, nightclub to promote uh, tattoo vodka, I think it was, so. We'll go over that later on. Another Alfa Romeo dealer sign. BMW dealer sign. Thank you guys for viewing the inside of my garage. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I try to respond to all of them that I can and please go to Instagram, follow us at Tons of Gas on Instagram, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for viewing.